Okay, well, I wanted to see how things are going to go with Trump. That loud thing, sorry about that. Uh, how things are going to go with Trump when he goes to uh, Arizona today. He's going to be talking at some big church. <laughs> yeah, Trump in a church. Okay. Anyway, so what I got with the Lenormand, and I'm going to try to go through, see what I get, that um, as far as his, um, his reputation, his job, the presidency, he's flying into a storm, into trouble, okay? It's not going to go well for him. Why are you on my cards, Mr. Max? He says, I'm going to be a reader in my next lifetime. I'm telling you, I am. <laughs> it's so bad. Every time I have the cards out, he wants to go lay on them. There he is, using them for a pillow. Oh, Mr. Max, I'm going to have to move you pretty soon. Anyway, let's get back to see what I can get out of this. I'm still, and I have... Uh, Kipper cards coming and another Lenormand. Now I'm using today, I'm using the Bluebird, Bluebird Lenormand. It, it's, um, it's nice because it's got the insets of the cards and it also gives a little blurby thing there that you can read. <laughs> it sometimes helps to clue you in. Um, anyway, so uh, I see that he's been a long time um, on time, a veteran, um, knows how to play the game, sneaky, for money, okay, for money. The fishes are headed toward him, so he's still getting money from somewhere. I think it's from a woman. It could be because we have the mirror up here for the fish, uh, a woman could be Mercer that continues. He's right next to, we've got the gentleman right next to the lady up there, but they're, they're now hitting a mountain. They're hitting a kind of a roadblock. Um, might be some getting some distancing from her. Uh, what he's relied on for so much time of a slick way to get this money in um, it, it's now not getting quite as easy as it was before. Um, yeah, he's hoping to go there, and I don't know, you know, how he thinks he's going to rapidly go and, and um, find money there, an outlet for money. Okay. But I see that this long-term thing, again, is going to hit a snag. We've got them, the stork flying into the mountain, so it's not going to be easy for him. I don't think it's going to go well. Um, he's thinking it's going to be easy breezy. I've done this for a long term. And so as far as my reputation and stuff, it's going to be easy breezy. Um, but no, it's flying into trouble. Okay, so it's not going to be so easy breezy as he thinks. Well, let's see. I'm going to try to do these cards. <laughs> so let's see what we get. First thing out is the devil. You know, the devil's in the church. Uh, and fortunately, the devil has been in the church of late with the evangelicals because they've thrown their lot in with Trump. Um and Trump is just, you know, he cares about no one but himself. He is such a good student of the devil. I, I swear if anyone could be a good student of Satan, it is the Trump Meister. Okay. So he, he's going there again and try to stir up emotions, trying to stir up getting them, you know, he thinks that's his strength, that he's good at doing that, stirring up emotions, um, 
but it's not going to go as well as you thought. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's not going to end well with what he's giving. Um, rather than dominating with it, um, people are just going to be kind of, um, you know, sitting and waiting. Again, we have the night of emotions, wanting to really stir it up, stir up the crowd. Oh, okay. Um, when it comes, like I said, when it comes to some, we're going to have some re-evaluation of some of the t things he's talking about that, oh, I've, you know, I've done so much for the economy. I'm so great. And people are looking at that and reevaluating it, okay? Um, he's wanting to move things forward, hoping that this will, will move things forward for him, this church thing. Um, but, no, um, I think new emotions are coming in. It's not going to go so well for him again. Yeah, we've got the wheel. The wheel of karma is coming. And, I mean, you know, things are really starting to turn around with Trump. He's, he's fighting a really a losing battle now. Uh, he keeps wanting to say, well, I did it before. You know, in, in 2016, I was able to deal with it and get get there. I'm going to look back on 2006, how I ran it before, and he thinks he can run the same game plan. But, uh, yeah. But, again, we have um, the Empress, which is our valuation system, and he is so far from that. You know, people are wanting to get back to this where we can be counted on in the world that we are someone that um, people can look up to well not with trump okay so um we need to have some new inspiration so maybe he's going to have the new people in there trying to set this up we have the Hierophant. Um, yeah, no, we need somebody that people are going to be looking for somebody uh, this time around that is more um, in touch with God. Him going to that church and holding a Bible upside down did not serve him well. Okay. And so... You know, as usual, he's trying to uh, find a link in there to help him with his own successes. But he's going to find out that he is really, again, out in the cold. Okay? He's out in the cold on this one. Okay? And people know that as far as him with the new jobs and all this that he's touting and he's doing so much, people know there are people that have lost their businesses, lost their their jobs. So just because people are getting back and there are more jobs now, you know, starting to come up, you know, there was a big loss, that a big hit. You can't say now that, oh, it's so great because... You know, all these jobs. Well, yeah, people are just getting back to work. Doesn't mean you created new jobs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just more light is going to be shed on it um, as to the happenings with Trump. But this thing at this church is not going to go as well as he hopes again. And he's looking for somebody new to set up the rallies. He's going to get rid of the the guy that he's had. Um, but, you know, it doesn't matter who he gets in. Uh, his record is his record. His inability to govern is, is you know, really 
coming more and more front for more and more people to see. Okay. Um, you know, I, I like that those kids got those tickets, but I don't think that's the only reason that it was so empty. You know, I want to ask about the, uh, about signing those things. Oh, yeah, he thought it was going to be the rosy red thing and that they were just going to fall in alignment because they're all good Republicans, okay? Um, but, yeah, no. Yeah, I think they've been listening to more things and uh, they, they just weren't inspired enough to go. Um, just not inspired enough for them to be there. So anyway, I am going to leave this here. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you.